Right, there's a baddie down there. Yeah, just absolutely desecrating a tomb. Just another day. Alright. Who's down here? This guy? Alright, cool. Good to see you. He raised his shield. You can't do that, too. There's only one person that can use a shield in this situation, and it's me. Look. I've had just about enough of you. He's blocking all my stuff. It's block party. Alright, but we did win. I'm going to switch up. I'm going to load my crossbow. I'm going to walk down here. Look for traps. Nothing. Empty. Empty. Sad. One crown. I hope my grave has a few, couple more crowns in it. Ooh, there's a chest. All right, let's step over here. Let's look for traps. No traps. All right. It's locked. Now... Thank you, Robert. Yeah, that's that's what's so sad, is it's only 10% of the value for weapons and armor. 93 is still pretty good, but, I mean, none of this other stuff, like, this is, it's amazing to me how much more a hood is worth than, like, a functioning mace. But even so, it's garbage. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that, drop that. All right. Now, if I break the chest by just smashing it, do I destroy the contents? Like most games, you would lose some of the loot inside, but I'm not sure how that works in this game. I'm hungry. Got to eat the sausages. Oh, it's this guy. me and you, buddy. It's your worst day. You're the archer, and I got close to you. It's over. Alright, let's check it out. Hey, hey, Necronth. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? I'm having a great time. We're just looking for a necromancer raiding a tomb. What's not to love, right? Okay, thank you, Inatone. That's what I thought. So maybe I'll save that for when I do go get a uh, lockpick. I don't think I'll clear this in one go. I'm just looking for the second floor. I'm assuming, and it could be wrong, that this is a two-floor affair. And the necromancer will be on the, the lower level, but you never know. Boy, that was a bad shot. Two bad shots. Alright, let's go, buddy. I've had it up to here with your... ridiculousness. What are you? Skeleton guard. He's at 31% health. Bam. This won't stop. Oh, it will stop. I'll stop it for you real fast. All right, let me just search for traps. Nothing. I'm bleeding. Got a head wound. Got a massive head wound. Let's go heal that. There was a trap. I actually found it. How about that? All right, and let's get our bolts. There's a nice halberd. I think this trap's been set off, though. All right, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, rest. need to heal up a little bit. We need the phylactery big time. When you're going after the, the lich or necromancer, you got to get that phylactery first. Saves you a lot of trouble. Look, buddy. Nobody likes what you're doing. You're out of here. 
Alright. That's a shame. That's what that is. Okay. Go ahead and... I'm gonna rest up here. Make sure my energy comes back. Why is my energy off? Oh, I'm fatigued. Okay, I need to go rest anyway because of fatigue level. Alright, no traps. A little bit of cheese in there. Thank ya. Alright. We're gonna go down here. And it looks like this door is the last one. This is a great question, um, Necron. The game is very brutal. It's extremely... I'm playing it on permadeath mode, so I'm being, like, ultra careful because you... This game can go downhill so fast, just like any good roguelike, but, Necronth, you can play this game like a regular RPG where you can save it at the inn or save it at your bedroll when you're out camping and load your save and stuff like that uh, if you want to play it just like more traditional. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is play roguelike version. It's it's hard. And it takes a while to get the gist of it. Yeah, exactly, Necronth, right? Okay, the Necromancer was right here, and I was really not expecting that. Um, I was hoping that this would be a two-floor dungeon. So I need to... I'm going to run out, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is uh, attempt to split this group at least somewhat. The bat opened the door. Alright, so I'm not super happy about that, but that's what happened. Now, let's see. Who's coming still? Is it just the bat? I know, Robert. Time to run. Uh, okay. Alright. Looks like they might have gone back to their starting point. It's ominous here. It's so ominous. Alright, uh... Yeah, they all went away. Oh no, the bat didn't. Sweet. Alright. We're gonna just kinda... Again... There's somebody. Wow, fading. That's awesome. Yeah, that's what I love about Elden Ring is like just going around looking and exploring and just finding sweet stuff like that. Okay, so there is a restless peasant in with the necromancer. We're not doing a very good job of hitting this guy. All right. So I'm going to try to pull out just uh, the Necromancer if I can. By closing the door and hoping against hope. Oh, the peasant actually went ahead. That's actually not bad. Oh, I think he summons more guys. I fought a Necromancer before and... Yeah, this skeletal guard has been summoned by him.
I don't know if he reses everything or if he just will res like one or two of them or he summons them. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how he operates. Yeah, I think you're right about that, Fading. I might just have to go in. I was kind of trying to split up his group a little bit, but it might be a big disaster to do it that way. I did still get experience, though. So some games, you know, they wouldn't be keen to give you experience for killing, uh, you know, resurrected or... No, no, close the door. All right, yeah, hit that door. All right. So I think at this point... You can get traps and throw weapons? Do you mean, Robert, to throw weapons onto the traps to trigger them? When he comes by or something? I'm going to... I feel like I need to rest because um, my... Throw it at the neck. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, trap him in a bear trap? That's not a bad idea. I haven't really messed around with doing bear trapping. I'm going to go back to the town because uh, I don't have my max energy, and I kind of feel like I need everything I can get against this dude. I want to go in fully repaired. I'm out of bandages, you know. I just don't have uh, everything that I'd like. I have four days left, so we have plenty of time. I could sell stuff, offload my inventory just a bit. Throne weapons, huh? Hmm. I'm going to definitely try to get some traps and see if I can shoot the guy. All right. So let's check in uh, with this dude. Let's see what he's selling. And... He has... Mm, nothing tremendous, but he will buy this for pretty reasonable. Alright. And then let me think about... Uh, what are you going to buy that for? 50? That's fine. Do I want, uh, like, herbal extract? Maybe. I'm going to go find a bot. Oh, I already, I already have that. Never mind. You can take that back. Um, I have this. Okay. Let me go to the blacksmith. Throw daggers and hatchets to have five range. Are you saying it's better than, um, my crossbow, Robert? These gloves. Ooh, these gloves are sick. They're very expensive, though. 
I could buy this uh, nice belt. I'm just going to repair all my equipment here. All right. Now, is the hunter here? He was here. Yeah, he's still here. Let's see if he's selling any traps for us. Uh, he has a net. But he doesn't have, like, a bear trap on him. I guess he has caltrops. Thank you. Slamurai, that's cool. Net can remove dodge. All right, well, I'll mess around. I never really take off throwing... I never really try throwing nets or caltraps, but I'll give it a shot. I'll try to open up my game a little bit. See what we can do. All right. Uh, do I have anything extremely valuable here? Oh, I meant to repair this just to see how much damage it would do when fully repaired. Um, I do want to use this on uh, this shield. Impenetrable round shield gives you a boost to physical resistance and... Yeah, it's nowhere near as good as mine. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I don't think I'm paid up, right? No. Buy some food. Go to the church. I was going to go to the church anyway to see if they had anything desirable. Um, I'll buy... Uh... Now nah, I'm okay on food, actually. Just need a room. One day. Thanks so much. Okay. Go over here. Oh, I finally got the weariness. Alright. It's kind of late. Alright. Now we're doing it. Gonna go ahead and drink. Booby doop. All right, we're rolling, and I'm gonna go over here, fill up my uh, water container, and check out the church. See what's on sale. All right, so we need uh, bandages. And we need... Mm, I'll take another bandage, to be honest. That's great. And you can pray at the altar. Interesting. And I got a buff that says, oh, wow, yeah, you're right. Boy, I never have prayed at this, and it gives you 10% experience gain and unholy resistance. That's great. All right, now we have two good buffs on. Uh, the rested buff and the prayer. I just need to buy some lockpicks for those chests that are in there, and I should be good to go. You got any lockpicks, dude? Now I gotta have to go to the blacksmith. He ain't selling them. Oh wait though, can I uh can I sell you my terrible shield? Thank you. Let's go to the blacksmith. I want the blacksmith to fix this sword anyway. Oh, it's way too expensive to repair it. Alright then. Um Are you not selling lockpicks? Oh, the daughter, thank you. Mm 
Or not her, this one. Here we go. Thanks, buddy. All right, great. Okay, let's go. All right, let's see how this goes. I'd be a little happier if I had some healing potions, uh, but I don't. over here so we can't kite this necromancer because he's going to just resurrect the bodies so we need to uh, very carefully just move in and pray I mean we did pray we got the blessing Let me go ahead and... I'm going to drop that sword. I'm not going to use it in there. All right. Okay. Let's see. So there's a body there. Oh, okay. Okay. So what we can do is just try to, like... Yeah, it's not very long range. Alright. So are the Caltrops... I mean, like... I assume that you throw this and try to get them to walk over it? Or... Or are you trying to throw it at them? Both? Okay. Alright, we got him. this guy doing? He's almost dead. Okay. So I'm going to try to just throw this on this guy. And he's stuck. Okay, that guy's dead. So now, I don't know how long that net's going to last. It actually did okay. He's running. Hey, stop. Okay, here we go. Hey, Mangles. What is up, my friend? Good evening. Isn't this game great? All right. So we killed the dude. There's nobody he can resurrect. By the way, Robert, thank you for the tip. The Caltrops and the Throwing Net were both huge successes. I'm going to hit this guy. And he's trying to run. And we're just going to hit him again. Bap him. Oh, we got him. And, uh... Slammerai, this tip about the blessing was super large. Awesome. Hey, you guys helped me out big time. That was great. All right. Fantastic. And let's just get all this treasure and just bask in the glory. He had a rondelle, which isn't good, but I'm going to pick it up and pretend like it is. 
All right, so let's just go down here. Let's look for traps. And take the dagger. Yeah, absolutely. It is worth a little bit. It needs repaired, but um, I need I need to find the phylactery to make sure that uh, this guy doesn't come back from the dead. A hundred percent, Slamurai. You're right about that. I mean, also this vigor buff from being rested. You know, just that little extra bit. All right, got the phylactery. Take all that stuff. Oh, there's a ghost, okay. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you get the old restless spirit. Let me see what this thing's all about. It's almost gone. It's hard to do damage to it, but it's gone. And there's a little bit of a ornate ink pot. That's worth a bunch. Even my ink is kept in the most valuable container. Sweet. All right, let's kind of go over here and we can pick this lock. <laughs> A little bit of money and a splint. All right, that's fine. And there's a chest over here, the last one. Hey! Deer pelt. Don't we actually need that? Am I... Or no, I think we need a beer... Or a bear pelt. Is that right? Bison pelt. Bear pelt. Nah, deer pelt is just something to sell. Nobody wants it for the quest. Sad but true. But we did it. Not bad. So we're going to be able to turn this uh, contract in, get a little bit of that cash, and hopefully boost our reputation somewhat in Manshire. Oh, okay, fantastic. So these early contracts didn't give us much. Um, oh, you know what it is? That's what's going on. I was just not reading this correctly. The reason all of these contracts only gave me a little bit of reputation was because they were done in Osbrook. So this is like Manshire hearing about our deeds from Osbrook, but then when we do a mission here, a contract, we get the 400 rep because I lost this one and I couldn't believe how much I lost, but it's just because they want local stuff. I got it. That makes sense. All right, great. All right, let's go back. Let's turn this baby in. Oh, okay, thank you. I need to have one of those ink pots on hand, Slamurai. Thank you, that's great. No, I got two of them, so I could sell one, st stash another one. Now, while I have you guys here who are a little bit more experienced at the game than I am, uh, because I only play permadeath, so this is the furthest I've ever made it. Um, is it, like, the progression that I've been following is just slowly doing all of the contracts and leveling up in each area? Like, I cleared everything out of Osbrook. I've already visited Bryn, but I'm mostly now focusing on doing everything in Manshire. <laughs>